Hi, this is Nell with Joyous Garden, and today I'm up in Pacifica, California, just south of San Francisco, where I'm going to show you how to do an annual flower bed. This is a bed which the daffodils have been taken out of, most of the pansies also. I really thin the roses out because it is a foggy area first, and then we divide the perennials and we move whatever plants we don't want in there to another part of the garden. We also trim back the perennials if needed. There aren't that many of them in there and anything that's seeded in. And then I get ready to lay it out how I want it to be. This one is done in shades of pink with some blues to it too. When we plant, we use alfalfa meal, organic rose and flower food, and chicken manure all of which is organic also. I usually believe in compost, but annuals do like fertilizer. There's a gopher basket. There are gophers in this area, and we make our own baskets also. The plants here are planted from six pack, four inch, and one gallon plants too, which you'll soon see it. I lay everything out in, in groupings because I don't like a mishmash of color, so it has waves. And then it's tied in with the blues of the lobelia really pop out the pinks too. Here you can see it a little bit closer. And then after everything is planted, we top dress it with compost. I'm a big proponent of compost. I love it. It also covers up the tubes. Here it is with the garden art back in. And it's all placed there. But you can see the shades of pink right going through. And then there's another bed, which we're going to see very soon, which is right across the way, that we call the fairy bed. And it's done in the same way, planted and prepared in the same way. Here it is right here. But it's done more in shades of red. This is before. There's also a blog post to go along with this, with the same name, how to prepare and plant a flower bed, which has pictures, and it actually has the actual steps to it. For more tips and creations, join us on the link right here.